We have some other breaking news tonight. Uh, the charge in our case is kidnapping resulting in death. Federal prosecutors are now charging Lewis Coleman in the kidnapping and death of 23-year-old Jesse Correa. The young mother from Lynn was last seen alive a week ago, leaving a Boston nightclub. Now, this afternoon, the U.S. attorney laid out the government's case against Coleman in sometimes brutal detail. They say Correa was beaten and strangled. Prosecutors also say she put up a fight before her death. The federal charge against Coleman makes him eligible for the death penalty. We have team coverage tonight on today's announcement from the feds and re Reaction from the Correa family as they take in this news. We start tonight, though, with WBZ's Tiffany Chan, who is outside the federal courthouse in Boston. Tiffany. Ken and Katie, federal prosecutors say Jesse Correa's body was found bruised, they believe, at the hands of Lewis Coleman. And for the very first time, we're hearing his interactions with state troopers after he was pulled over in Delaware. When asked if anyone else was in the car with him, Coleman said, she's in the trunk. The U.S. attorney describing the chilling moments Jesse Correa's body was discovered in the trunk of Lewis Coleman's car in Delaware. The cause of death, prosecutors say, blunt force trauma and strangulation. There was significant bruising on her. Uh, also, when the defendant was booked in Delaware, he notes that the scratch on his face is from her. Coleman is now facing federal charges in the kidnapping of Correa from a Boston nightclub, resulting in death. U.S. Attorney Lelling says surveillance video shows Coleman dragging Correa's limp body from his car into his Providence apartment last weekend. Days later, receipt shows he made several purchases from a nearby Walmart. He bought three Tyvek suits, duct tape, two candles, electrical tape, a mask, surgical gloves, safety goggles, an odor respirator, and bleach. The court affidavit states Coleman was then seen wheeling a large suitcase to his car. Correa, on the other hand, is never seen leaving the apartment. Prosecutors say it appears the young mother put up a struggle before her death, but a motive is still under investigation. And prosecutors say there is no indication that Correa was sexually assaulted. Again, Coleman is due in Delaware federal court tomorrow, and prosecutors say they are considering pursuing the death penalty. In Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.